What's going on everybody? Sonar here and I've got a brand new Navionics Plus preloaded card here. This is an awesome card. Traditionally Navionics cards are regionalized so when you buy a card it's for a certain region. However the Navionics Plus preloaded card is special because it covers the entire US and Canada. Okay it's got preloaded nautical chart data uh, for the entire US and Canada and you can download sonar chart and community edits onto this card for the places that you fish the most. So there's a few things that we have to do to, to get started. Once you buy this card, you wanna register it. And then next we're gonna go ahead and update the nautical charts that are already on there. And then we're gonna download sonar charts and community edits. And then we'll be done with our homework and we can hit the water. So let's get started. First off, we're gonna start on navionics.com and we're going to go to update my chart. Okay, that brings us to this page and then we scroll down and then we go to get up to date charts online, get started, and then we're going to get directed to this page right here. And uh, so essentially when it's your first time, if you're, you're registering your card or updating your card for the first time, uh, you're gonna have to download the chart installer program. Um, I've already got it, so I'm going to go ahead and just launch it right now. All right, as, it, as you can see, we've got several prompts here. Um, it, it says, be ready with card in hand, check. Uh, next, be sure to have the card unlocked. There's a little lock right here on the side. Just make sure that that's unlocked. And then it's, it says, plug in your card. Now, each Navionics Plus card, or each Navionics card in general, comes with a card reader in the pack. So this one right here is just a traditional SD card reader, not a micro SD card reader. And uh, so we're just gonna plug that in and then plug it into the back of the computer. And the program, the chart installer, is automatically going to recognize that card. All right, so now we're on the update screen as well as the download screen. And so you've got several options. The first thing we're gonna do is the, the nautical charts that are already on this card, we wanna update them. We just wanna make sure we've got the most up-to-date data available. And so we're gonna go ahead right here where it says update nautical charts. And we're gonna go ahead, click that, and then start that update. And we, we're gonna wait a few minutes. All right, so now nautical charts are completely updated. We got the freshest data on here, and then we're gonna go over to add more, and now we're gonna go ahead and download the sonar chart data and the community edits and, and put those on the card. Sonar chart data is just real high definition maps um, that you it, it really improves, especially shallow fishing in areas that have changed a lot. And so what we're gonna do is, uh, you've got this little box on the screen that you can make bigger or smaller, for the sake of this presentation, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the entire state of Florida. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, click on the sonar chart and community edits. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press start and that'll start downloading the sonar charts and community edits. So now our homework's done. We've got the nautical charts updated, sonar charts and community edits uploaded onto the card, and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and take this out of the computer. And now all that's left is to take the card out on the water. All right, so now I'm on beautiful Lake Chickamauga right now, and I'm gonna plug in my Navionics Plus card and, uh, and, and really get the most out of its capabilities. So the first thing I'm gonna do, plug in the card, okay? You're going to have the micro SD card in, in most uh, uh, current units. Plug that in. It's going to wait a second. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to uh, go ahead and select Navionics charts? And of course, you're going to say yes. And then the next thing that you're going to do, the, the, uh, another thing that's really, really important to be able to maximize your success and get the most bang for your buck out of this, this card is to turn on sonar charts. Okay, we've downloaded the sonar chart data onto this. It's already got the nautical charts that automatically pop up, but now we're going to turn on sonar charts. We're going to go to menu, chart options, view, 
and then click on sonar chart. That right there is going to give me the one foot contours, high definition maps, and, uh, and the most current up to date data. So as far as on the water goes, we've plugged in our card, we turn on sonar charts, that's really all you need to do to maximize your success with this card. And then beyond that, every once in a while, you really want to take advantage of the freshest data updates, the updates that you get for an entire year. They're completely free. So you want to go ahead and take your, your card out of the unit every once in a while uh, and then go ahead, go back on Navionics, update the card, very similar process that we've already done earlier. So um, that's pretty much it. The Navionics Plus card is a great card for the traveling angler that fishes all the U.S. and Canada uh, and really wants total coverage so you got to check them out navionics.com and if you have any questions about the navionics plus card or any navionics card you know where to find me